Hi, I just found a new tool to clean up the video on the front page here. If you've been looking, I had started posting videos, which was fine when I had one or two, but then I kept making ones I thought were useful and I kept posting them and all of a sudden I had this huge list of videos. So I went searching around for uh, a different tool and I found this. Um, this subscribes to my YouTube channel and then it is showing um, thumbnails of each of the videos and it's just kind of auto scrolling through them. Now I can also uh, play from here or go to the video that I want. Notice that up here is the title and also the time. So I could do a couple of things. I can link to that site here it is. Or I can subscribe to that channel from here. So if you've already got um, a YouTube account, you could make a subscription that way. And again, the kind of cool thing is it, it just puts it all in, in one little place, makes it easy to find, and um, at least, it, it, in my opinion, it's, it's beating what I had before, which was just a huge list that was kind of hard to manage. So here's how you do it. Page, let's go to edit page. And um, here's what it's going to look like in the end, but let's add another one on top of it. So just click there. And then I'm scrolling down so that this insert is kind of at the top because when I click on this it's a long list and we want to go down and select more and this is going to allow us to add all kinds of stuff uh, that you can put on your site experiment with that look around lots of neat stuff a couple of things that might raise your eyebrows um, but put that on your site uh, you'll see what I mean if you find it um, so for now, let's just type uh, YouTube channel. This is the one we want, YouTube channel gadget. There are lots of them. This is also something you can play around with to make sure you get the look and feature that you want. This is the one I used. So I typed in, this is just the default, I typed in my uh, YouTube account. And here you see that it's all set up. Uh, width and, and height is really just this box on the outside. It does not change this little box, unfortunately, I have found. So. I got into trying to change those and then it really wasn't worth my while and I ended up changing it back. But anyway, okay. So say okay. Notice that that box has now been inserted and uh, if I click save, now we should see two of the same thing stacked on top of each other. Yeah, there it is. And that's it. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to take that back out. This is also the way you remove stuff if you link to a channel that you don't like or you decide you want to change it later. If you just click on the block that's standing in there for what you're going to see in the edit mode uh, and click properties, you could change the channel from here. But I actually, I'm, I'm clicking in that area. That's how I get this little blue options and uh, kind of editing bar. I'm going to remove that one. I don't, I don't need to. And then I save my page. Thank you.